Hello and welcome to another Everest video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to complete and upload the ECRFs to the Castor website for the Everest study. So the first thing to do is to go to the Castor website and log in. And that should bring you to a screen with a list of your studies. So we'd like you to upload to the Everest study here, but for the purposes of this video I'll be using the testing study. So the first thing to do is to click the create new record button in the top right hand corner. Select your institute from the drop down menu and then it should automatically create a record ID for this participant. Then it takes you to the first page of the ECRF which is for you to complete. If there are any problems with any of the consent, inclusion and exclusion criteria, it will come up with a red error message here. So just make sure that this is all correct, otherwise you won't be allowed to continue. Then move on to the demographic, demographic data and medical history section. And just one point to note in this section is that you may have to ask your participant about their smoking habits, as this is not often readily available on the online medical records or in the medical notes. Then move on to the stress echo information section where you can fill out the information uh, post test and then upload an anonymized version of the DSE report using the browse button here. Finally a lab analysis section is here to complete if they've had lab analysis in the last year if not you don't need to worry about this part. Then in a year's time we complete the follow-up outcome section of the ECRF and a follow-up phone call to the participant to check if they've had any events outside of the trust. If the participant chooses to withdraw from the study at any stage, you can indicate that here. Finally, the PI will can then sign off the ECRF as complete if they are happy with it. In the study menu here, it will have a progress bar to show how far you've got through each participant's ECRF. You can double click to open them and edit them at any stage. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.